Yo, what's up YouTube? So this is the electric bike wind turbine, which I hadn't been using because we had the $100 one, but I think the plan is that this one is going to be reprised, so to speak. It's looking a bit rusty and worse for wear. And I don't know why I did this, but at some stage I decided to put the, uh, what we'll call the drive shaft on, which was from the other wind turbine, which was a smart drive one. That was the frame for the smart drive one. Uh, and what I need to do is take that shaft off there and replace it with that one. And at the same time, I'll show you how this one went together. This one, uh, I've kind of written off the smart drives both went in the back there and I wanted to use this one for now so that needs to have this shaft in so that I can use two sets of blades and we'll be using these metal blades uh, one set on the front and one set on the back this is the front end uh, one of these is welded on very badly and can't be used I think these two are fine I don't know what that's doing on there uh, but you can see the holes where the blades go on there so that goes through there, through there. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, I've got to take the other one off the tower. Let's go have a look at that. This one has to come off really because uh, obviously you can see how that's worked out. I'm just going to turn the camera a sec. But it was only producing 50 watts so it's not really pointless having it up there. I believe the shaft probably goes all the way through. Anyway that will have to be taken off and uh, yeah it's got to come off and then the other one this will have to come off as well this thing here and the electric bike wind turbine will just fit back over there sweet not a lot of wind at the moment i must say but there's going to be something about a week's time so it'd be nice to maybe try and get it going for them peace before it goes back up this definitely needs sorting out uh, i'm pretty sure the wires are still all intact but if they get torn uh, or broken it is a big problem that's a 48 volt bike motor and we've obviously got this gearing system here I can't remember what the the uh, ratios are at the minute but they're gonna change anyway when we put that on the first thing I wanted to do was get a good coating of WD-40 penetrant on everything so anything that needs to come off will hopefully come off a lot easier just a reminder that the drive shaft you're looking at now has to come off and the other longer one has to go on One thing I'm going to try and do, or do obviously, is to take the chain off and that will make everything a lot easier. So first I've got to find the split link. You can see when I move the uh, motor, the chain moves like so. And there it is, that little beauty. It's the one that has to come off. What I'm going to do is stick something through the chain to stop it. When I hit down with the chisel on that, the whole thing will want to move around that way, but if I get it locked in there, then we'll get the link off super easy. Sweet. Oh, <clears throat> so there's the chain. So now that means we only have these two bolts on the underside. Need some more WD-40 in this thing. That does not feel like there's any movement at all. It's actually these ones you want to take off. But I will give these some as well. These allow us to adjust the motor up and down. It was kind of hit and miss when I was running it before, but we can make it better. So yeah, I've got to leave that leave that half an hour then I'll take those bolts off and then we'll start trying to get the other drive shaft in there before we try and sort them out just a little last quick squirt and now what we what we need to try and do is get the, all these bearings uh, housings flat and in the right places this one well we'll see I've got it in the vise now so we shall see what happens oh there you go that one's fine That one seems fine. 
which is good. And this one. Sweet. One last juice up. Leave it for an hour. Sweet. So 19 mil should do the trick. So that's now come off. You see it was bolted on there. And that can be taken and put away. Before I put it away, a bit more of this stuff. I'm not saying it'll take all the rust off, but it won't hurt. Sweet. And we know that ain't gonna get any more rusty. I haven't got any of the right size bolts to fit on the uh, spindle of the motor hub, so what I need to do is I need to buy some. I think they're M14. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna get the motor out so that the frame weighs less. I've got the frame there we might have some trouble here because all this needs to move down everything that's attached to the shaft needs to move down a bit right we'll leave that for a while in fact I'm gonna call it a day for today because I feel pretty knackered and I've got a couple of days off at the end of the week so I don't know if you can see it's slightly bent at the end I don't know if you remember I had to weld a bit on let me see where it is. There. That's where I welded it on because I wanted some extra length for the back blade because the back set of blades are slightly offset. Obviously, uh, this all needs to be rearranged, but the front set of blades go here, very close to the front, and then the back set of blades are offset as far away as possible, and that means the back set of blades work like a tail because you can see the shafts a lot longer. But yeah, uh, just a reminder again, there's the blades. There's the blades. No, oh, it's gone so bright. And there's the motor. So, done a fair bit today. I know it's all gonna go back together. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go have a rest and I'll see you in a few days. Peace.